first video, um, we're going to touch on several topics. I think, like with music, music comes with stereotypes and stigmas. For example, like, you know, rap, you know, country. You think about what your typical listener is, and you basically have a visual in your head. Um, basically, there are several, there's so many quote-unquote colored or minority people that actually enjoy hard rock, metal, you know, that grow up listening, me, myself included. Um, and I was influenced from the get-go. I remember, like, growing up in a house, uh, my uncles had Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, Boston, um, Doors, I mean, you name it. And even the 80s hair bands, like, my, one of my youngest uncle used to listen to Loverboy and all this other stuff. So I was, like, heavily influenced on rock music. But at the same time, I also had insight into, um, like, world or cultural music and then also you know urban hip-hop you know being brown I guess you could be on both sides of the spectrum you know you can listen to you know stuff that predominantly white people listen to or stuff predominantly black people listen to I mean music is music let's be honest like you know you have I think there's two things that transcend everybody and that would be food and music I mean, they're the ultimate unifiers to for everybody. So, I I guess like this whole channel is going to be probably focusing on music from I guess the colored perspective. But it basically is for everybody to chime in. I don't want to like you know make a big play that race card or culture card or whatever. It's basically a topic. It's going to be a series of discussions. Relate to music, so um, it's kind of like you know we're sitting there talking, and you know you guys are just going to be chiming along and you know giving me your input. But you know when you think about rock music, rock was predominantly founded by blues. I mean the De the uh, Bible Belt Delta Belt type of you know buddy guy, you know. Muddy Waters, all these other famous, you know, formers inspired from slave slavery in the South. So, you know, you look at Led Zeppelin and all Jimmy Page's riffs are really blues riffs. And they're like, then you have John Bonham's hard pounding drums that kind of like took the blues and just, you know, I guess supercharged into that Led Zeppelin sound. And the funny thing is all that stuff started in the south of America and it kind of went to across the pond of the UK and then it came back to the United States. So the whole hard rock metal type of thing started here, went over there and came back and then more of them, you know, branched out to other areas as well. But what's interesting is, like, for me, like, growing up, I was predominantly a jock. And I wasn't really interested into music until I tore my knee and my, my football career ended in high school. And then when I went into college into Rutgers, um, I needed to find something else. And I guess that love of music kind of, the fire got set in. And I started getting into music as far as like playing. So I bought my uh, guitar and I wasn't really, I played it, but I couldn't connect with it. And then I got into bass. And then when I found, got into playing bass, there was like a fusion of what was inside of me and what I was able to play. And I became a lot better at it. Um, but the bass itself, you know, is something that, you know, we'll touch on in another topic and the dynamics of how people are paired with instruments. Because you think about it, you know, uh, John Bonham playing guitar, do you think he sound as good? No. Um, you know, Jimmy Page playing bass? No. Or, like, you know, I think each instrument is tailored to somebody. And it's for that person to find their calling and their connection. But anyway, let's go back um, to the original topic. So, you know, that music kind of came back to the United States. But from a colored person's standpoint, you know, all that
that stuff was founded by predominantly black African American individuals. And then, of course, um, you have Jimi Hendrix that came in and just blew the lid off, blew the lid off the uh, stratosphere. But for me, I have to say, a living color kind of, you know, awoke in my eyes. Now, the interesting is during that time of In Living Color, and if you listen to Living Color, all of them are phenomenal musicians. I mean, that guitar player and the bass player in that band is just so, like, dynamic. And back then, you know, it was that start of the hip-hop movement. So to have, like, four black-colored faces putting out one of the sickest you know, ensembles is mind-blowing. And the fact is, if you look at a, a living color, um, they kind of, you know, was the, I guess, jumping into, like, Rage Against Machines against this whole neo-metal that kind of started in the early, in the early 2000s, late 90s, with uh, Linkin Park, Limp Bizkit, and all that other stuff. So, they were kind of like the godfathers of their own, you know, that genre, genre that would come later on. So, um, I guess like, you know, this all sparked because I think uh, Living Color is coming into Earth Day birthday here in Florida. And out of all the concerts I've been to that, I would love to see them quite frankly. Um, you know, it's like you always get to enjoy seeing the bands that inspired you. Or like, you know, to pick up an instrument. And for me, like, I saw the Black Sabbath reunion, I think it was in 2004. It was in an Ozfest, I think, when the original Bill Ward included began touring around. So, um, anyways, um, just wanted to see, uh, ask people out there, what band inspired you to pick up an instrument and learn how to play so i'm definitely interested in hearing what you have to say and um you know this is the first of many videos so we'll see how this goes and let me know what you think um unfortunately i did not hit the lottery last night so i am going into work um it's the worst drive well actually it's beautiful but it sucks when you have to do this nine, nine to five for sure all of y'all relate um I'm a lot different than a lot of these YouTubers that, you know, live in their mom's basement eating cheesy poops or whatever. Um, I was a jock in high school. I graduated from Rutgers. I work a nine to five. I had a government defense contractor. I have a mortgage, wife, two cats and a bird. I mean, you know, you can't get it anymore. <laughs> America, like the American dream is that, Woo! but um, anyway, um, something I do for fun, so um, let me know what you think, so again, what are the bands that influenced you to pick up an instrument, alright, we'll see you in the next episode. Woo!